Seattle's new zip lines have been open for a couple of weeks now. Officials say the new attraction is luring all sorts of thrill seekers. WYMT's Alex Casper Peak has more. In hopes of bringing in tourism, eight zip lines open this month at Bob Amos Park in Pikeville. It's fun, it's an adrenaline rush, you're high in the air, you're going pretty fast. It feels kind of free to me. I like it. Since White Lightning zip lines had their grand opening during Hillbilly Days, business has been going pretty well. Uh, we've been doing really good. I mean, over Hillbilly Days, we opened, uh, we did over 200 people. Um, and business has been pretty steady since then. But with any outdoor activity, bad weather would typically translate to a decline in business. You would be surprised. You'd think a lot of the time people would be like, oh, cold weather or, you know, rainy. And But we've had just as many people do it in the pouring rain as we have do it in the sunshine. So it does pretty good. You know, it does, of course, slow things down a little bit. The lines will be open to zip under many weather conditions, except lightning and winds over 25 miles per hour. <laughs> really, it just causes... Um, you to blow around whenever you're going across them and it just can create unsafe, unsafe situations. Um, really that's just, you know, a precaution that we take so nobody, you know, hits anything or, you know, doesn't get um, pushed into a platform too quickly or anything like that. So. While it's always best to be outdoors when the sun is shining bright, riding in the rain does have some benefits of its own. Oh, you go faster in the rain, so I guess that's kind of fun, but you do get wet. Making rides from one side of the mountain to the other possible, rain or shine. In Pike County, Alex Casper Peak, WYMT Mountain News. Looks like fun. The zip lines are open Thursday through Sunday. To find out how to schedule a ride, you can visit our website, WYMT.com. Several G